Have you noticed that artificial intelligence is changing your life? Well, perhaps you haven't noticed. And if you haven't, that's called the AI effect. And a lot of us haven't noticed that. For example, your cell phone has a great deal of artificial intelligence in it. You can play chess with your cell phone. You can get directions and so forth. We don't say we have an artificial intelligence cell phone. We say we have a smartphone. Now we're seeing cars that can actually drive themselves. We don't say that's an artificially intelligent car. We say it's a self-driving car. What's happening, Nick Bostrom said this, is that artificial intelligence is buried so deep within the application that we don't see the artificial intelligence. We only see the application. In my last video, I talked about when artificial intelligence will be as smart as a human. In this video, I'm going to talk about when artificial intelligence will greatly exceed humans, actually be smarter than all humans combined, and that we call superintelligence. Stay tuned because I'm going to explain not only how, but when this is going to happen. I'm Lou Del Monte, the host of Savvy Life Strategies, and I invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more videos just like this. And now, let's talk about when artificial intelligence will be smarter than all of us combined. In other words, as Kurzweil has put it, the singularity. Why should you believe what I'm about to say? Well, I want to give you something, some items about my credentials. First, I worked in the high-tech field of integrated circuits for over 30 years and basically worked on a number of projects that were related to DOD weapons and communication satellites. In addition, I'm an author. I wrote the book, The Artificial Intelligent Revolution. This book became extremely popular. It went to number one on Amazon. It's currently being translated into Chinese and it will be published in Chinese this year in 2018. My most recent book is Nano Weapons. This was published in, in 2017 and this book is also a bestseller similar to my last. A lot of articles were written about it. This was the first book to talk about this new class of weapons that have features smaller than the diameter of your hair. And these, these particular weapons are more concerning than nuclear weapons. Nanoweapons was also translated into Japanese. And here's the Japanese version of nanoweapons. So basically, I'm a high-tech weapons expert and an artificial intelligence expert. And that's why I think you should give some credibility to what I'm saying. Those are my credentials, and let's now talk about when will artificial intelligent machines be smarter than humans. I mentioned in my last video that most of the experts in artificial intelligence are fairly close in what they are predicting regarding when a machine will be as smart as a human, and uh, Bostrom and Mueller did a survey and most experts are predicting 2040 to 2050. I am a little ahead of that. I think we'll have one in the lab by about 2030. And I give my reasons in the book that I published. It turns out that Bostrom and Mueller believe, and they've made projections, that 30 years following having a machine as smart as a human, we will actually have a machine smarter than humans. Now, we're not talking about a machine that's just smarter than one human. We're talking about a machine that's smarter than all humans combined. The cognitive intelligence of the entire human race. We're making these predictions based on Moore's Law. And if you want to know more about that, take a look at my past video where I explain it in some detail. But most experts are looking at the same data that I'm looking at, and they're coming to the same conclusions that we are going to see superintelligence in about the beginning of the fourth quarter of the 21st century. Well, you may ask, what does it mean to have 
super intelligence smarter than we are. What is super intelligence? Well, it's any intellect that greatly exceeds the cognitive performance of humans in virtually all domains of interest. Now, that's the formal definition that uh, Mueller and Bostrom used. I'm going to just simplify it and say that if you take all the humans and their cognitive intelligence and you add them all up, that machine will be smarter than that. So we're talking about a very smart machine, essentially what Kurzweil calls the singularity. Why is it the singularity? Because it will be a point that has never occurred before and will never occur again. It's a singular point in time. Well, the implications of superintelligence are enormous for both the society and for warfare. And I've, I've written a book on just that, and it will be coming out in November of this year, published by Prometheus, who is a top-notch publisher in that, that area. I won't go into all the details about the singularity at this point, but I will tell you this, it will be highly disruptive. Most experts agree on that. It will be disruptive. It will change the way we work, play, and even make war. Well, that's it. Basically, that's my projection, that in about the third quarter of this century, we will see superintelligence emerge, and that intelligence will be smarter than all humans combined, and it'll have a major disrupting effect on humanity. I know that's a lot to take in. I'll put some links down in the description so you can read some of this for yourself. But for right now, I'm going to wrap up this technology segment. Okay, guys, now it's your turn. If I've missed anything or you have anything to add, put it down in the comments below and I'll, I'll, I'll look at them and I'll attempt to address the questions as they come up. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up so other people know it's a good video and hit the subscribe button so you get more videos just like this. If you click the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as the videos are published. So there's a little bell icon uh, below the screen. And if you just click that icon, you'll get more videos just like this. You'll be notified as they come out. As I mentioned initially, we publish videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, until we have a chance to talk again, stay savvy and live well.